Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be testing out and reviewing the Kmart $3 beauty sponge. So when I first saw this I thought no like it's going to be rock hard and then I sort of squeezed it in the packet and it feels really soft like it feels soft like a beauty blender would. So this is by the brand OXX and I think it's like the like the home brand, generic brand, makeup brand of Kmart. Um, I haven't tried anything else and buy that brand before, but I was having a look at it and there was so many different items that were extremely cheap. So I thought to myself, I might need to go back and like buy a couple of things and maybe do a video on Kmart makeup and you know, whether it's any good. Um, but yeah, so this is what the sponge looks like. Um, just to compare it to a beauty blender. So this one here is a little bit dirty, but that's okay. It gives you the idea of, of size anyway. So it is definitely a little bit meatier than what the uh, beauty blender is. But um, yeah, overall, I mean, they both, it feels a little bit more firmer than what a beauty blender does, but um, you know, not, not like rock hard. So let's go ahead and just immerse this in some water and uh, yeah, put it to the test. I really hope it works because it's so cheap and that's such a great alternative um, because you know who wants to spend $30 on a beauty blender not me oh my goodness this is going really big okay a few moments later okay and that's it fully immersed in water it is ginormous that is massive and you know what it actually feels really really soft that feels really good actually so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and apply some primer. So just for reference today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infla Infallible Luminizing Primer. I only picked this up recently and it's like, if you want to have like a dewy, glowy day, this will achieve that look for you. Let me tell you, it is blinding. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the blender to blend this primer out. So let's go see how it works. I can tell you it feels really, really good to the skin. Like it doesn't feel too firm at all. It actually feels really, really nice, which is great. So, so far this is, this is a success, hooray. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. This is in the shade 2N Vanilla. It's probably slightly darker than my natural skin, but I kind of want to look a little bit more tan today anyway, so that's okay. And I'm not leaving the house, so who cares? Yep, that'll do. All right, let's go ahead and see how this buffs out. It's doing a pretty good job. Like, I mean, it's definitely collecting a decent amount of product, but I mean, name me a sponge that doesn't. Um, so yeah, it's definitely doing the job, that's for sure. And again, it doesn't feel too, like, doesn't feel too firm. It doesn't feel like I'm, you know, pounding a rock against my face. So that's always good because I think the one of the biggest things I've noticed especially with the cheaper uh, sponges that, that are out there on the market is they are just so firm and it doesn't matter how much you know you wet them or what you do they just they're so so firm and it just doesn't it's just not a good feeling um, you know when you're blending makeup out but this feels really good I'm actually so impressed by it I can't believe that not more people aren't talking about it to be honest with you one thing I will say is I don't think this is necessarily my favorite like foundation though. I don't know. It just, I don't know what it is. It just, I feel like it just doesn't sit right on my skin. Okay. So now the foundation's all nice and blended out. I want to keep going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my Natasha Denona sculpt and glow palette. And we're just going to use the, Even though it has the little guard, cream and powder products in the one palette can be so frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use these cream products just because I really, really want to put this brush to the test. So, 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the highlight one first, and I'm just going to use this as concealer. So I'm just going to sort of place that under my eye. And basically anywhere where we want to highlight. That'll do. All right, and then just going in with our um, beauty sponge, I'm just going to use the other side now and just blend that all in. Okay, just gonna map out some contour now. I'm just gonna use the bottom of the sponge and just sort of buff that in. Guys, I am so, so impressed by this. Like, oh my goodness. Like, it take, took two seconds to blend all of that out. I don't feel like it absorbed any more product than any other normal beauty sponge blender would. Um, and I have, like, I'm just really, really impressed. Like, I think it's worked really well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go ahead and um, finish off my makeup and then I'm going to come back and um, yeah, talk to you guys a little bit more about it and uh, give you my final thoughts. And we are back and I am done. Not overly loving my makeup today, but it's cool. Um, back to the point of this video, this sponge is... I have to tell you, for $3, this is so incredibly worth it. I don't know why there are not more people out there talking about it. It is fantastic. For the price, it does the job really, really well. It's soft, it's comfortable to use, it blends everything out quite well. Um, I'm honestly going to go and buy some more. For $3, why wouldn't you? You know, I think that realistically, when you're comparing something like this with something like this, you know, there is a $27 difference between these two products and they both work exceptionally well. They both work, in my opinion, practically the same. I don't think this absorbs any more product than what this does. They're both sponges at the end of the day. Um, yeah, and I just think that they, you know, it does a really great job. So for the sake of saving $27, I'd be picking this up from Kmart every time, honestly. Um, I was just so incredibly uh, pleasantly surprised by just how well it worked. And um, I think the actual design of it is pretty nice too, like with the swirls. I think that's, that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, really, really happy uh, with that find, guys. I recommend it to literally everybody, I think, that... Um, you know, yeah, for $3, it's, it's so, so worth it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and, uh, subscribe to my channel for more. If you'd like, you can always follow me on Instagram. I'm at raw underscore beauty. And, uh, yeah, that's it guys. I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.